Honorable Hunneval. Dag ware adjunct speaker. In 1995, toen die springbokke die wereldbeker gewen het, was er baie groot optimisme in Zuid-Afrika. Allemaal het gegloe in die droom van die reenboog nazie. Vooral van die wittes in Zuid-Afrika was daar een welwillendheid om Zuid-Afrika te bouwen voor die toekomst. Een welwillendheid om hulle bijdraas te lever om Zuid-Afrika een beter plek te maken van wat hij is. Een welwillendheid om niet met arrogantie of met bevoorrechting of met speciale behandeling Gehanteer wou geweest het niet, maar met ijver om Zuid-Afrika te bouwen. Maar dat is een ontnuchtering. Een groot ontnuchtering heeft ingetreden. En honorable deputy speaker, through you I want to say to the honorable president. Honorable president, section 83c of the constitution determines that you as president must promote unity in South Africa. But what are you doing? When you talk, then you say that the problems in South Africa started when Jan van Riebeek landed in 1652. When you talk, you say it is because of white monopoly that you have your problems and you hear your colleagues. They applaud you for that. When you talk, you tell the people of South Africa, specifically the black people, that you are poor, you are unemployed, there is inequality because the white people have stolen the land. That is what you say. Your Honorable Minister for Social Development even goes so far and blaming the white journalists of South Africa because of the Sasa scandal. Now, Honorable President, are you then surprised, for instance, that your Premier in Northwest, if he have a funeral of a tragic event, that he uses race and say it is white farmers that has killed the boy? What has happened to the rule of law? Don't you respect that? Therefore, I want to say to you, Honorable President, that you are promoting racial polarization in South Africa. And I want to repeat, the white people of South Africa don't ask special treatment. They don't ask for privileges. What they ask is only equal rights, equal treatment. And Honorable President, I want to ask you, if you answer tomorrow, tell the white people of South Africa what do you expect from them. Not about the history, we know the history. What do you want the white people of South Africa, what they must do to ensure that you will be satisfied to make a contribution in the building of South Africa so that the white people of South Africa can know where they stand with you. Please, for one time in your life, be honest with the white people of South Africa. I thank you.